Um, I think Hat typically wins this matchup. Uh, Narak is in uh, seated, obviously, is high. Mm -hmm. um, Hat seated second here. Yeah, so this, this is the 2 7? The 2 yeah, 7 matchup, sir? 2 7. Yeah. And uh, I know Norak has been playing a little bit more. He's been trying to get better. I, he's been playing with Bones. Mm -hmm. uh, Bones has been playing well. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't. I can't see him pulling it out here. Mm -hmm. But let's see if he can at least keep it close. Yeah. And if he continues to DI those shines really excellently like he just did there to avoid follow-ups, it's going to be tougher for Norak to get these meaty follow-ups and be able to kill earlier. Yeah. So... This man's usually grab heavy. I'm surprised he dropped that uh, that tech chase right yeah. there. So see, look at that. That was amazing, DI, just to be able to get out of that. Oh, sick power shield! Wow, that was I mean, such that a was swing. It. That was that, that was it. Power shield, fair. I'm gonna throw needles at your recovery. Like I, Falco's off the ledge. He hits mm -hmm. my needles. It's really hard to come back from that. Yeah. Excellent crouch cancel by Nurek on that double jab. Hat was looking for the reset, and he still got him in the combo. Oh, I thought he was just baiting that. That was so sick. So the thing that drives me crazy with Sheik's do is when they dash dance, and it's really good. It's not like, an, like mm -hmm. a dash dance. Da uh, it's not like a dash dance, da dash dance, but it's enough to get out of range and come back in. And I think that's what he was trying to do mm -hmm. before the kill happened. It just took me a long time to say it. Um, <laughs> where he dashed out, and I thought he'd try to come back in. We'll see if he dash dances mm -hmm. more. It's something Plank does a lot that we mm -hmm. see a lot from him. This is a pretty solid lead, especially when you get a grab off of Sheik. Like, okay, I can make a comeback. I can mm -hmm. do this. I'm not going to take a lot of percent. And then you get grabbed. Yep. It's like, never mind. And then you eat 70% 70 70 one combo. 70%. And now, like, this Falco can drop another stock right here, and it'll be 4-1. Yep. Ooh, and that's going to kill off the top 159. Yeah. But, like you said, the damage has sort of been done. It's already a full stock yeah, plus 70%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, someone referred it to it last night as extra credit. I don't think I've ever heard uh -huh. that. When you're getting damage after the yeah. stock mm -hmm. and the extra credit, oh, I feel That's so been a, so <laughs> it's been sort of, it, I thought it was a good term and then yeah. it became really overused by oh. uh, Sky at Genesis. Oh, Apparently, I because I was in the crowd, I didn't, I didn't know, but he was using it like every single time someone would get percent Got after it. dying or after killing their opponent. Yeah. But I think, I think it makes sense. Like, hypothetically, you're supposed to be so, sort of going back and forth, trading stocks. And if you pull that stock and then also pull a percent lead. I do, and I don't understand it. Okay, so, yeah. so you know, I'll play and I'll get a stock. Ooh. And, oh, that's going to match. Wow. I'll get a stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I called the match. That's not <laughs> no, uh, that was a sick play by Nurok. I said this is a warm-up to pound, okay? I'm allowed <laughs> to make those mistakes right now. So you get a stock and you think you're just like, okay, let me get some, let me get some percent, let me get some percent, and you always get no percent. Yeah. You it, you die you die with them at zero. Ooh. Like what happened? It's that mentality. Oh, it's that bonk. mindset. Oh, he bumped his dead. head and he's dead. Oh, that sucked. Narak's really good at that. Narak is really good at uh, exiting out of the match when he knows it's <laughs> over. He might not even be dead. He just knows that it's it's over. So yeah. he just he's like, I'm gonna leave this leave this mess. So interesting decision to go to Dreamland. Yeah, I don't know I, about that. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't. I don't know what what Hat would have banned. Probably but, Pokemon because yeah. Hat is so strange that he, he loves he, Yoshi's. Yeah, he he likes Yoshi's, and I don't think he likes the changes in Pokemon. Yeah, so that's a good point. Might have might have gotten rid of Pokemon. So, I guess basically what Nurak is sort of banking on is, I don't know, man. I think Falco's already sort of stunted recovery. Isn't really enhanced that much by the big space on Dreamland. Yeah. And the the platforms are so far apart that you're not going to get these super easy pillar combos. Hat's going to be able to DI out earlier than if you were on a smaller stage. And Sheik's recovery is enhanced, and the survivability is enhanced on this big stage as well. You know, we might even be just overthinking it. <laughs> Narak might just be really comfortable on this stage. Yeah. Oh, uh, sick needle. You know, and, and he tried to do that double recovery, you know, like I just get hit, I'm going to forward B again. Mm -hmm. um, side B, I don't know what it's called these days. Yeah, either one. Uh, I think it gets the message across. Okay. Um, and that works against, like, lasers and some other projectiles. It does not work against needles. They just yeah. put too much of a stun. Uh, like Falco's lasers, I, they, they work well against. You can, like, mm -hmm. immediately side B again. Good DI in the second up air. The first one, not so great. I was able to get a follow up, but. Nurok recognizing getting out of the combo, and like so, I would call this normally extra credit, but because I guess there's like a stigma against it, we're just saying that has building the lead, I guess. Hat is building a lead. I like yep. that. I like Ooh. that. 
You know, I'm tr I'm overall trying to get out of using Smash terms. You know, uh -huh. we we have a lot of viewers that don't know a lot of the slang that we uh -huh. use. And, yeah, the worst uh, one is tournament winner. I think that is such a confusing term if you've never if, if, watched if we Smash. We have a lot of first time watchers. Mm -hmm. We're getting we're getting very large, and I I'm running into players that uh, I'll talk to. Hey, are you into melee? Oh my gosh, I watch all the time. Blah blah blah. I love this player and this player. Oh, so you play? No, I don't play. <laughs> I, I just spectate. I just watch. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people that are. Just getting into it and we're really starting to develop spectators so i'm trying to stay away from yeah those those little catch phrases too oh no jump he caught the jump wow is that gonna get the quattro uh, i don't know oh careful <laughs> that's what hat's looking for yep yeah i, I just don't feel like narok is i'm trying to talk quietly because i hate when i'm <laughs> gonna hear me uh -huh. so I, I just i don't feel like narok is following up so like he'll get like a shine and then just stay in it mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. It might be Ooh. mental. There you go. I didn't stay in that shine. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's a little bit mental. You know, I was playing him last night. He, he was looking pretty nice. And mm. he was getting some nice combos on me. Uh, but here, like, he's jumping in with, with nares and not following it up with anything. Mm -hmm. and he's also exhausting his double jump pretty early. And Hat has gotten a couple reads on that and been able to kill. Because, like, we talked, like, Falco's bad recovery. If you get caught off stage with that jump, especially against a character that edge guards as well as Sheik, you're going to die. Yeah. So. Well, like this is looking, this is looking like a wrap. So, but this is well, it, it's gonna set up Hat versus Kage the the, the rematch, which is exciting. Oh, that is exciting. Yeah. Well, okay, so here, so here's something. Um, when they played before, uh, Hat and Kage said, uh, no, 